Welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. For anybody who follows financial markets, uh, you can attest to the last couple of years being absolutely horrendous in financial markets. Uh, by that token, it makes it uh, equally as difficult to find opportunities in markets like this. And I will add to the fact that in markets like this, it is the most conducive to looking for and finding opportunities. Now, Aduro Clean Technologies is a company that I've covered for the last year or so. These opportunities do not come uh, very often. The path to this company's profitability is uh, just about as defined as I've ever seen. Uh, and having the headwinds of a current financial environment that is um, just about as tough on any stock, especially in the microcap space, it is nothing short of remarkable what this small company has been able to do on multiple fronts, upper management, their uh, involvement with major oil companies. Uh, both domiciled here uh, in North America as well as abroad. Their involvement and uh, just over the halfway mark in the Game Changer program with Shell Oil. But for you guys that have covered the uh, Aduro story with me, we are running out of time. And that time that I speak of is uh, tilted toward the retail opportunity. And here's why. Shares of Aduro Clean Technology right now are trading at a very tight share float, that of which upper management owns a huge portion of the shares. It is not available on every broker out there. Uh, I can speak about the few brokers that through my network folks have told me that they've been able to acquire shares. And for those folks, I congratulate you. You are sitting on an absolute lottery ticket. The purpose of these videos is to point out the opportunity to introduce uh, Aduro if it is your first time understanding what it is Aduro brings to the table, why it matters and why it is relevant. It is very important for you to take these next couple of minutes because I'm going to highlight the top five reasons as to why you needed to own a Duro in your portfolio. Uh, I am a share owner in the company. Those disclaimers are provided for you in the share amounts and the uh, cost basis for each of those shares to be transparent. The idea here is 100% toward education. That is it. Uh, you need to make your own decisions with regard to your own stock decisions and how and where and even if an Aduro Clean Technology fits into your portfolio. With that said, I cover financial markets top to bottom. Uh, I am a passive long-term investor. I am a speculative investor. I am a dividend growth investor, and I look for opportunity uh, where it presents itself, and they are far and few between. And with Aduro Clean Technologies, I have never come across an opportunity like this where the disconnect between its opportunity and the path over the next couple of years using, using either their licensing model or the assist with infrastructure build with major oil, and not only to leverage their three verticals, but the path to that end with regard to government and um, national mandates that are coming down the pike with regard to plastic production and the responsibility that major plastic producers will have to adhere to either Aduro, Clean Technologies Solution, or the few others that are in the preliminary stages of offering their solution to the space, to the total addressable market, which is absolutely mammoth. So when we talk about opportunity, guys, I want to calmly walk through the five reasons as to why I currently own a Duro and perhaps maybe where you should take a second look and find a position or an opportunity uh, the way that I have uh, to position yourself uh, in a company like this and see the value uh, that is waiting to be unlocked with a Duro. The first is that it is the best solution in the world right now, bar none on the market for plastic recycling. And a big reason for that is because it is up against pyrolysis, which is the heating of plastic and basically the destruction of the plastic materials, which makes it very, very difficult to render any type of usable material on the back end. 
uh, Aduro Sports an ability to uh, deal with contaminated uh, plastics, which is the uh, phase four of the Game Changer pro- program that they are involved in right now. Currently with Shell Oil, I will be eagerly awaiting the results of that involvement with Shell uh, in their phase four uh, of six of the Game Changer pro- program. Uh, my site visit to Aduro and my discussions with upper management directly uh, has proven to me, and I share with you now, what separates Aduro from the pack is their ability to tweak their chemistry to a desired output. Uh, the ability to break down the molecular structure of plastic in a way that can be put to uh, an intended and good use on the back end which provides flexibility in Aduro's chemistry for a a myriad of different customers out there that do not want or potentially do not want the exact same output uh, through the use of Aduro's uh, chemistry. And this contrast to Pure Cycle, a competitor to Aduro in the space, and that Pure Cycle takes the plastic feedstock, puts it into their very costly reactor, using pyrolysis and renders a pellet on the back end. And I find this to be a fairly isolated solution, albeit a good and very necessary solution with the magnitude of the problem that we have nowadays with the plastic uh, problem. I just find Aduro's uh, technology to be that much more attractive because of the flexibility within its technology. Aduro, unlike its competitors, has the ability to sport the uh, opportunity to recycle all of the hard to recycle plastics that usually render itself in our landfills and in our oceans, those being polypropylene, polystyrene, and polyethylene to be specific. More information can be had at Aduro Clean Technologies website. I highly encourage you to go check out their investor presentation. All of the information that I'm disclosing and sharing with you are on the Aduro website. Number two is the timing. In this, Aduro Clean Technology has been in the works for 10 plus years. You're being provided an opportunity within the remaining few months, if that, that we have at these recessed stock prices here with a market cap of just around 65 million US to actually leverage what has been in the works for over a decade now and with over 50 million plus in investment to bring this technology where we are now. The geopolitical mandates that are going to be coming down shortly in 2025, requiring that a certain percentage of all plastic produced has the ability to be reintroduced back into a circular economy. Aduro Clean Technologies is one of the very few companies that sport the ability to actually provide a solution to render itself useful to these larger plastic producers that are going to be on the hook to actually come into compliance with mandates that previously were not in place So when these large companies produced these plastics and turned them out into the economy, there was no promise of return. As a matter of fact, 90%, over 90% are unrecyclable plastics and economically unviable to even attempt to recycle. That has now changed with Aduro's technology that they bring to bear, actually being not only uh, with a high level of efficiency, but also an economically viable solution. So we can actually look to deploy this technology with the idea of saving on the bottom line. Number three, Aduro Clean technology is currently unknown. Uh, I will repeat again, it is unknown. So for you guys that are being introduced to this very calm deliberation, the idea here again is introduction through education. Um, If you are lucky enough, I own my shares actually through interactive brokers, uh, having no good luck with my major broker acquiring shares of a DuroClean technology, that being Bank of America Merrill who stated to me directly that they were going to wait till the stock price uh, went up to a minimum of $5 a share. My friends, that was not attractive to me at all. I absolutely believe that a DuroClean Technologies, probably right now in accordance with their price targets, could sport a stock price of $5 plus. 
but I wasn't going to wait till the stock went to $5 to acquire my shares. I've been acquiring my shares in the high 50 cent uh, range. And now with the shares approaching 90 cents US and will soon be over the dollar mark, I absolutely feel content with sitting on my shares right now uh, and, and, and allowing the investment multi-year with targets of 2027 in place for a first look on the company uh, as, a, as far as evaluating my short to medium term position in Aduro Clean Technology. This is one of the very, very few opportunities where retail investors are in the driver's seat. Now, with that said, most retail uh, investors will absolutely falter in taking advantage of this opportunity. Uh, it will prove out to be historically just the same, uh, a late to the party type of initiative, because when Enduro hits 100 million in market cap, it is going to be uh, in a different playing field of attention, that of which the institutions will not be able to ignore this company flying under the hundred million dollar uh, market cap radar right now, basically does not introduce a Duro into a different playing field of companies from a hundred million to one billion dollars of market cap. Uh, currently, Adura will not be looked at with its current market cap as it climbs toward that hundred million dollar. Mark by the institutions, and we're looking at that hundred million mark as a real turning point in really gaining the credibility that they've earned as of now. But being provided an early look in the company just provides retail that much more of an opportunity to enter into the stock, which is advantageous to do so and has not gone into its panic buy point. Number four, Adura's doing everything right. I've never seen a company with 65 million in market cap that has from top to bottom everything that I would look for uh, in a company and is executing on all levels, upper management, uh, the product, the total addressable market, a market that I'm interested in getting involved with. If you're not interested in the movement now in putting initiatives in place through technology, to make the planet a better place, tackling the microplastics that are ending up in our food chain, then this opportunity isn't for you. But I think it speaks to the uh, interest that a lot of people that I have talked to in my circles have surrounding this company is that it is a very easy company to invest in. It's easy to get behind the initiative. And even if you weren't a share owner in a DuroClean technology, I think it's very, very simple to sit back and root for these guys who are bringing this groundbreaking revolutionary technology to bear. And uh, you know, as an investor, I sit back and my share base is already set. It has been for close to a year now. And the execution and the roadmap that upper management has put in place, I have absolute confidence that that roadmap is going to play out. And your margin of safety is defined now in understanding, looking at the track record of Aduro in its short past and looking forward at what they're anticipating in way of bringing the reactors uh, online, specifically the R3, R2 has just been commissioned on both the bitumen upgrading as well as the plastic recycling to assist in their uh, customer engagement piece. But looking out on the horizon, I am very encouraged based on what I've seen and the ability of Aduro to project a sheer compensation that is unlike any other company. In other words, only two thirds of the current share base that has been incentive based and progress based. Uh, they have one third of those shares yet to be um, to be obtained through the commissioning of the R3 reactor. And I think that just speaks to upper management's alignment and vision to align their shares with uh, current share owners in the company. For me, uh, it absolutely speaks to my tone and tenor and excitement around owning a piece of this company and a piece of, more importantly, their future. And I'll wrap it down by suggesting that the fifth reason you should own a Duro in your portfolio and a large reason why I do is the value proposition that is presented right now at $65 million in market cap. The value in their technology estimated on the low end 
at a hundred million. Uh, I disagree. Uh, I've always put the value on this tech to be at least 50 million higher than that. And my own personal estimate at 250 million with the technology, what that means is if they were to go and sell the technology tomorrow, I believe that they could demand a $250 million uh, premium for that technology that has not only been third party validated, but is currently being validated by big oil. Guys, I'm trying to hold back my excitement here uh, so as to keep emotion out of business, but it is very, very difficult to do when we look at a company that is trading at 65 million and compared to peers in the industry that have garnered and demand market caps up over a billion dollars, a billion and a half dollars. It is hard to understand how Aduro, uh, if not currently, is due for a re-rate to the value in the stock. And when we look at the opportunity and the TAM, the total addressable market in the plastic recycling space, it is hard to deny the opportunity uh, in uh, the rollout of the Aduro clean technology and the path to profitability. And this is something that I want to encourage share owners to join me in this journey and understanding that Aduro is not going to roll this out and save the world tomorrow. Their path to profitability through their licensing model, if you go to the investor slide deck and review what they are anticipating rolling out into their future and selling the tech or licensing their technology uh, to big oil to be used and or uh, pursuing an infrastructure share type of deal uh, where Aduro can sport its technology in uh, reactors that big oil who have the capital to actually lend to these projects and actually build reactors for what they need now and into the future. And as this project evolves, my friends, it is going to be a longstanding project that I feel like a target of 2027 at this point here, rounding out 2023 and moving into 2024, we're going to have to be patient on the rollout of this company, being able to follow along its roadmap. But I put my value proposition with Aduro in the margin of safety that exists in their ability to follow along their current trajectory and could continue to operate at such high efficiency that I'm asking you to join in this mission for awareness, throw it in your watch list, to look at how Aduro could potentially uh, fit into your portfolio, track the story, and as the developments are made available to me, I will push that out uh, to my grander audience on the Independent Investor Channel. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in for the totality of this video. If you enjoy content like this and opportunities that we push through the channel made possible by Aduro Clean Technologies, please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Let's strike up a discussion as to whether or not you are bullish or bearish on this opportunity. Love to hear your comments. Hit the thumbs up and the notification bells. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this review of Aduro Clean Technology and good luck in your investment future.